you know, there's a lot of fans who think Robert Downey Jr. looks old and weak now that he's gone vegan. Do you know about that? No. Yeah, they, it's just, this is true. <laughs> They, and he does. He, if you look at some of the more recent pictures, it doesn't, and it's apparently not for role preparation. It's just you know standard photos of him. He looks he looks older and weaker, and so they're calling him Iron Deficiency Man. <laughs> wow. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid directions record. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, for more juicy content. Thanks for Patreon, follow us, comment, subscribe, like button. That's all true. That wasn't a setup for the joke. That's very true. Also, why do you care what people look like? Well, if you care about somebody and they look sickly, it would concern you. Just because he's not muscular anymore. No, 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 no. It's it's different than and, and he's never Robert Downey Jr. has never been freaking buff. He's been in shape, but he's never been. No. No. Today, uh, we got a video. This is called Making of Jun Jo Patan Song. They dropped a... We, we, I'm so excited. We saw, obviously, the other one of the making of that other song. Right. I forget. The, the one in Spain name. with the freezing cold naked to orange, orange, uh, orange bikini times. Um, and this one is about the... Uh, the, the song that for the past three workouts has been the only song I listen to once I'm warmed up. I just 45 minutes of <clears throat> nothing but that on loop. I'm not kidding. Here we go. Juhi Jo Pathan actually what I wanted was I wanted a modern Kavali. To have, you know, SRK doing a modern Kavali with Pathan in the title. It just came out instantly. Oh, I love this song. <laughs> When I heard the track, everything was absolutely bang on, totally danceable, foot tapping, and it brings an anthem, brings a joy when you listen to it. <laughs> yep. Jhoom <laughs> Jhoopatan is like that, yeah. I think I, I start feeling, yeah, this, you feel like dancing. Just yeah. Just to do a step, which everyone can do with ease. It's like all things done well now and let's celebrate kind of. It's a party song in the film also. <laughs> Mary John. Boss, on the other hand, is someone I've worked with a lot. You know, I've worked with him literally from my second or third film onwards. I've worked with Boss. The relationship is different, but hopefully the song will be as special. Very important to me that you show uh, locations that are unseen. So Cadiz obviously is a town that is uh, just near Sevilla in in, uh, in Spain. No one shot there before. It's beautiful seaside town with lovely quaint streets, a beautiful square, and we really used it to its core and enjoy it. It was quite festive in terms of how we wanted to celebrate it. There were vintage cars, there were bikes, there were bikers who did the stunts, fire breathers, there were flamenco dancers, and uh, there were Paco artists. So we went all out. <laughs> conspiracy was hatched. There was no way I was showing a body, but then they made me do it again. It's very embarrassing. <laughs> he is shy to a point that he just doesn't want to even open a button of his shirt. And having a body like that, you have to actually tear it and show the world. He had to actually coax him into it to do that bare body shot. <laughs> I said, 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 I think it was already planned that slowly, slowly they'll start opening my buttons. I've never done more success than abs. Yeah, a lot of picks, a lot of picks. He's going on! He's making me eat too much and he's making me take my clothes off. I think we just greedy, we just enjoyed watching him do this. I know, just doing it over and over again. The minute we, we got that shot right, and you could see that joy on their face. I remember I just sneaked in a picture. 
I'm very happy now with youngsters. So my kids and I'll see on screen and damn cool body papa and all. So I feel very happy, but it's really scary. I don't know if I'll be able to do it again. That's the power of. Uh, it's a lot of work to get your body to look like that. No kidding. I think he's never. Because it's not a natural way to keep your body. Country's lucky to have him entertain this nation. Shahrukh Khan. Shahrukh Khan. <laughs> I became an actor. I have also started assuming that they think of me as their Apna. And they come with Ripma uh, Sharuk. They may not know me. They may not even like me. But there is a familiarity. It's just impossible for me to disappoint them. It's, it's really uh, nothing. I think as an entertainer, your job is to make everyone smile. Please, please, please. please. It's one of my favorite things about him. When you're at a certain level of stardom, it's actually bad if you're not like this. I don't know how you. I don't know how you can't it's very important that, be that you know, way. The people who are working on the set enjoy your song, and you can get a vibe of it from the people around you. That was fun. Yeah. Um, it's not natural to keep your body that way. Oh, no, no, no. It's freakish. No, it, and obviously that's why they have studio-appointed trainers and um, dietitians yep. that are monitoring your every move. Yep. <laughs> and doctors. <laughs> yeah. To make sure that you're eating the right things. At the right none time. none of the wrong things. Yep. And all of the correct proteins and the... If you saw him doing push-ups, if you have to do like a shirtless scene, especially if you'd have to look really buff, that's what every actor oh. will be doing. Always gets pumped because it up. helps make your muscles bulge. Yeah, any any moment where you, uh, you can you can just see it. It's just it's the way it is. Any any time somebody is super vascular, they were absolutely doing push-ups, or they had the barbells off to the side. And as I said, one of my favorite things about him is his understanding that. The audience is the reason you're able to have the kind of success you have at that level. It's not the reason you're an actor. You're an actor because you're an actor. But I, I don't know why anybody would pursue acting and hand in hand doesn't come the understanding that if you achieve the goals you have as an actor, it's probably going to also mean you're going to have to sacrifice a lot of your privacy. And that doesn't mean paparazzi gets to invade your privacy, but it does mean you really ought to give some time and attention to the ones yeah. that allow you There's, to do what you do. And I think when you're at a certain level, the ones that are not only beloved on screen, but the ones that become superstars are usually because they're also beloved off screen. Yes. Like obviously Keanu Reeves, probably one of the nicest people on the planet. Universally That's loved. One of the reasons everybody loves him. Same with Hugh Jackman. Um, is because like, he's just, he'll ride the subway or Adam Sandler. Johnny Depp is very famous. And there's a reason through everything that Johnny Depp went through that he has the fans that he does. Yes. Is because he's always, if he have a show or if he's on set, he will literally always be there for hours. Yes. And his security usually has to pull him away because he, he knows the reason he's there. Yeah. And the reason he a was able to do what he was able to do is because of the fans. I'm Shah Rukh Khan's the exact same way. Exactly. Um, and yeah, Johnny will sometimes show up at Pirates of the Caribbean just to surprise people. And he loves, he's heard him say, my favorite thing to do with my Captain Jack costume is go visit the little kids in the hospital. He does it a lot. Yep, does it all the time. Yeah. And so, yeah, that's, that's SRK knows exactly why he got the superstardom he got. And it's not just his talent and his uh, his smarts. It's it's because he's beloved and he's wise to give that love back. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, anyways, let us know what other videos we can react to and what you think about the video down below. Josh!